So for the next hands-on exercise, I uh, want you to string template, create a string template, and you could do this to whatever level you're at. Oh, I got to go file in there. And so string template, I'm first going to have some variable like name, right? And uh, now I'll be put into our string, and then I'm going to have my string. And so this would be one way that I could do it. And I'm using backticks for raw string literal. So I'll have some text, and then I'm going to concatenate it, and I'll have some more text. And I'll concatenate it with the variable name. Okay, and then I could print line that string. All right, so it could be, you know, HTML here and more HTML. Or that could just be your answer. And um, am I recording? Yes. And so, and I go into that one now. This is 031. Go run main. Right? It gave me HTML here, James, more HTML. So that's basic templating. You don't have to type out all the HTML, but I just want you to get the idea of that. And you might also, then, if you wanted to, um, what was the other way that we did it? We did it, printed it to a string, right? So we might do font dot string print. And we already have a string, though, so I don't know what the point of that is. Um, we could also have this code here. Just another way to do it. And then that, you know, and we'll just call this moss. Manos, is that how you spell Manos? And that's gonna assign to a string. And then we could font print that. All right, so that's another way we could do it. And then we could even write that to a file if we wanted. And so OS dot, and I know that there is like create file. And so OS create takes a name and returns a pointer to a file in air. So I could put that name in here, new file dot txt. And it's going to return a new file, call it whatever you want, and an error. And then I could do uh, if error is not, not equal to nil, then uh, log.fatal. Oops, log dot fatal, and uh, pass in you know some string. Whoops, and the error, and uh, and multiple choices. So control enter. Give me my multiple choices. Control enter. Nope, that's not what it's wanting. Option enter, and I want package log. There we go. And it's capital F log fatal, and uh, and then my new file. I want to io.copy and I'm going to copy and it's going to take the destination is going to be the new file and then the um, the source is going to be it's going to be strings dot new reader and I'm going to pass in that string so I could have passed in either of them and, it, and again here it wants multiple uh, multiple choices. I'm going to package IO and it needs to be capital C. And so that will create that file and write that text to it. And we also had somebody, uh, Jeff in class, um, did it slightly differently. Oops. And he did this. So I'm just going to create new file too. And, uh, and I think I just do that. Did I even do that? I, I think that's fine. And uh, this will be new file two, and then for new file two, instead of IO copy, you use uh, IO writer. What was it? Oh, okay. It's new file two dot write a string, and it writes a string to a file, and so we'll go read about that. But then NF two, and uh, let's go see what it does. So I'm just going to go here. And uh, it takes in a string, and it returns an int and an error. 
So I need to catch those. So I'll do an n and an error colon equal. And uh, if error is not equal to nil, then log dot fatal fatal whoops to error. And um, right string, I don't need to pass in nf2. I need to pass in the string. And the string I'm passing in is um, going to be, this time we'll pass in str, right? Either one of those strings. And, uh, and then I just need to, I could, if I wanted to, I could check or I could throw away how many bytes are written. I guess we'll check it. And we'll do func.println bytes written is in. So here are three ways. Create string. And here, string print. Create string, string print. Create string, string print. Create file io.copy to the file. And uh, create file um, write string to file. I'm just separating these just a second right there a little bit because those are slightly different. Kind of chunking that together and separating that. And so let's look at just write string for a moment. And write string is like write, but writes the contents of a string s rather than a slice of bytes. And so it's attached to anything of type file. And, um, and all it's doing is taking that string and converting it to a slice of bytes because a string is made up of a slice of bytes. And it's writing it to the file. And it's returning back the bytes written and the error. So if we look at write, anything that is of type file has a write method, which look at this write method. It means it's implementing the writer interface. Write writes length b bytes to the file. So it's writing the bytes to the file. It returns the number of bytes written in an error, if any. And this is how it writes to the file. So this is where we kind of go, uh, I don't know what's going on there. But you can look at it to start to understand it. We're not going to go that deep. But now if I run this, and this is a 31, HTML here, James here, that's this first one right there. And then I have Moss James Manos, which is, I got this one, and then I printed it right there. And then I created two files. So when I click over here, you'll see those two files pop up. They don't show up in JetBrains until I click. Boom, there they are. And if I look at them, there's that first one, Moss James Manos, which came from this right here. We wrote, wrote S, which was Moss James Manos. And then the second one, we wrote HTML here, James, more HTML, which came from this one. We wrote that string to a file and that one. So that's some really kind of cool stuff that you're learning. Like we are creating files and writing contents to them. And again, this is just to kind of learn the concept of templating, but also to show you how the language works. I want you to recreate any or all of this code that you feel comfortable with. So that's your next hands-on exercise, okay? So you could just do the first one. You could do the first two. You could go for the third, first two and one of the file ones or you could create create all of them but uh, take some time and do a little coding